Aloha loves. This is a message for those of you that have big dreams, big goals that you're wanting to achieve. And it's like you seem like it's so close, but it's also a little out of reach. And before I laid my head down last night to rest, I was getting a lot of messages come through from Divine. And Divine was showing me that you were chosen to have those goals for a reason. You were chosen, you were given those dreams because Whatever you went through, let's just let's just stay focused. I don't want to I don't want to go backwards. Let's go forward, but that's the vibe as well. But it's like your dreams are so big that it requires you to continuously reach out to them, to continuously call upon them for help, call upon them for guidance, call upon them for strength. Because what I was seeing was some of you have been manifesting new doors being open in your life, in the lives of the collective consciousness. And I was seeing that you're already there at the door. You're there at the door. You were given the key. But, but Divine was showing me like there's a plot twist. It's like you already... You're already in there. You already have the key, but they're like, but there's just one thing. This key is so massive. This key is so heavy. This vibration that you're stepping into is so heavy that it requires their help. A lot of you may have come from a time where you felt like you had to do everything by yourself, possibly even since you were a child. Physically, spiritually, mentally, you felt alone. And when it came time for you to call upon someone, they may have let you down. But they were called to let you down. Like I'm picking up on this message again and it's funny because the last time I picked up on this message, I was in this same area in town. Yes, I see. I was in the same area, so something's coming back around, full circle. This time, you're gonna see it in a different perspective, but they had to let you down because you could get too comfortable. You could feel like you got this, you got it on your own, you got people in your corner that got you, but you had to be let down because you could have got a little ahead of yourself and feel like you don't need divine assistance. Okay, but you do need them and you're about to see it really clearly right now. Shut's about to get heavy and you're going to start to surrender. You're going to start to call upon them more and more. Like, look, I can't do this on my own. Use me. I want to embody your energies. I want you to use my eyes. I want you to put your words into my mouth. Guide me. I'm not strong enough. There's this energy of, and for those of you that have been fucking with me for a long time, you know how I feel about the word humble, but it's, it's, it's the vibration of humble. I don't like that word humble because I'm very big about terminology and the root word of shit and whatever, but there's this energy of us having to humble ourselves and say, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And I can't do it on my own. And that's when they come in and help. And they've been helping as much as they can. But they were they wanted you to... I know a lot of you wanted to prove it to yourself, prove it to others, that you can do it on your own. But they're saying that you can't. You need them. And you also have to acknowledge and, and glorify the fact that you need them. Whether this is your higher self, you know, the divine God, your higher self, your angels, your ancestors. Okay, because we're in the energies right now of stubbornness, of 
boasting of ego. And it's about being really soft, being inviting, hospitable as well. But so some of you may have felt like you wanted to give up on your dreams. And they're saying, you don't have to give up on it. I'm not asking you to give up on your dreams. I'm asking for you to ask for me, for you to seek me. I love you so much and I missed each and every one of you. I really have to start bringing my phone with me when I lay my head down because there's so much messages that come through. And sometimes when I wake up, I forget it. So there's something about that for you all too. Visions and messages that you're receiving, write it down so you don't forget it. Maybe some of you have to also make some sort of to-do list. Maybe there's things that you've been putting off or procrastinating, okay? Get shit done. Um, there's these songs that I was picking up on as well. I was picking up on Call Me by Blondie and Send Me an Angel by... Shit, who is that by? I don't know, but it starts like, it's been five months since you went away, left without a word, nothing to say, when I was the one who gave you my heart and soul, <laughs> but it wasn't good enough for you, all right, don't mind me, I can sing shit, but I ain't trying to right now, okay? But that's the vibe too. Yes, spirit says try. Some of you haven't even been fucking trying. Or some of you felt like you've been trying, but it's, it wasn't good enough. Divine's gonna make it good enough. These plans that you have, these setbacks, these failures, they're gonna make it good enough. Oh my gosh, I just see so many beautiful things unfolding and like the smile. I'm picking up on smiling from ear to ear again. The, the gratitude, the happiness for the things that's in front of you. Because I know a lot of you have blessings right in front of your face. But you know, you may be content with what you have, but you're seeking more. But just really have gratitude for what you have right now. And... I was just looking at my babies resting last night as I was receiving these messages and ah, boy, they're my greatest gift. They're my greatest gift and I was thanking Divine for choosing me to be their guardian and just being grateful. There were so much more messages that I was tapping into and I can't really think of them right now, and I don't want to rush it either. I know I'll pick up on them again later. I just love you all so much. And, oh my goodness, there's so many beautiful things that are going to